He's known as the French Bill Gates. He has billions to spend on technology. And when Jim Bitterman met Xavier Niel, he found that Xavier was funding a whole new set of entrepreneurs. You might not immediately be able to spot one of France's richest entrepreneurs in a crowd, but in high-tech circles, billionaire Xavier Niel is not just famous, but adored. That's because his journey from college dropout to global celebrity has not been just about enriching himself. In the past decade or so, he's turned his attention toward helping others along the path he followed. I tried to help my country. I think France is, is an amazing place where, you know, the word entrepreneur is a French word. And what really I want to have in France now, it's more entrepreneurs, people who can create big companies. Neil, yeah, for example, built and pays for this. Ecole 42, a computer coding school where a thousand students follow studies for up to three years entirely free. Anyone can apply, no matter what their education or interests, from artificial intelligence to gaming. Ultimately, of course, many of the students downstairs would like to develop the skills to produce a game like this one, but it's a long way from there to here. But back down in the expansive computer rooms they call the beehives, James. James Eiler is one of those who wants to make the grade. A former pizza delivery boy from Kansas, he says Niel's free school has entirely changed his life. Before 42, I didn't have uh, very much going on for my life. Uh, I think the biggest skill you would need is really just uh, tenacity um, and uh, a lot of determination. There have been doubters. Niel started a school similar to a call 42 in California, but it met with limited success at the beginning because there was skepticism about whether a free school without a degree program could be worth anything. But after a while, the success of the students here dispelled any doubt. One former student, for example, is now working at the French Presidential Palace on cybersecurity. And President Macron himself is one of Niel's biggest fans, helping him launch another pet project, Station F. F for France, station, because there used to be a train station here. Not any longer. It's now a transport hub for ideas. A thousand high-tech startups are based here because of the low-cost office space and the contact they can have with startup incubators and technology giants. Neil says France's youthful president is changing the country's image and reality in ways that perfectly match his own visions. The image of France uh, changed, uh, has changed now we need and we want to have this thing because the small company of today are the jobs are the job of tomorrow. 27 year old Luca Bouillou is CEO of one of those Station F small companies and he joins in singing Yell's praises. I think that he has a great story and he started from nowhere and now he's like um, giving to, to us to have more chances of succeeding and I think this is, uh, this is great. Buyu and his team of two have raised $700,000 to work on their ideas for augmented reality apps. Apps would appeal to young people, of course, but perhaps as well to senior citizens who, like France, are hoping to modernize their image. Jim Bitterman, CNN, Paris.